All right. My name is Peter Brooks. Welcome. I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. I'm joined by Mr. Ram Upaluri, who I met in the District of Columbia while I was working there. Ram had some questions about me. Um, he saw me in a video featuring Thiru Vignaraja. We thought we'd record it. Ram, take it away. Well, thank you, Peter. I know you to be a close observer and a passionate observer of politics and the civic life, both here in Washington, D.C., which is where we met. And I know you're now taking that same energy into Baltimore. And I was so intrigued to see you in an ad for Tiru Vignaraja, a candidate that I had not known that much about before I started hearing about him and looking at his uh, website um, in this very hotly contested Democratic primary for mayor of Baltimore. I, I was very intrigued by Tiru. He's an extraordinary person, but really interested, Peter, since I know you. And what drew you to, to Tiru Vignaraja? I'd be interested to hear your personal story. Sure. There we go. All right. So I was um, working on trying to preserve my grandfather and grand aunt's house in Baltimore, Maryland. Um, they were extremely famous uh, innovators and musicians who had a huge impact on American culture. And I just thought it was a terrible thing to try to you know, destroy their legacy and erase it because it was something very valuable that could help people, I felt. And it was interesting, of all the mayoral candidates, Thiru Vignaraja was the only one who kind of shared my vision of how to use history, preservation, and culture to secure economic development as well as, uh, you know, more opportunity, tourism, and, uh, you know, higher education standards, inspiration, if you will, for the people of Baltimore. So he was the only one who really stepped up and put his neck out um, in favor of that preservation. And so I was really impressed. Um, you know, I tend not to vote for people based on their politics or race or sex or anything like that. For me, the most important thing is character. Um, I like to judge a person based on their attitude, the things that they I've seen them do, the way that I've treated them, I've seen them treated uh, treat other people. And for my money, the Ru Vignaraja had the strongest character because he was willing to stand out when the odds were down, when the chips were down, he came through for me. And I really, really appreciated that. Um, and tell me about you, what, what interests you about his candidacy and, and his background? Well, you know, first of all, his name was very unusual to Ru Vignaraja, and I recognized it immediately as a South Asian name because my, I, my father was uh, an immigrant from India. Um, and, um, uh, you know, I also have a Indian uh, surname, Upaluri. Actually, our families are from the southern part of the Indian subcontinent. His family, they are Tamil people, T-A-M-I-L. And um, they are from the country of Sri Lanka, which is just adjacent to the southern part of India. And there is a significant population of ethnically Tamil people um, there. And they fled conflict in Sri Lanka in the 70s uh, when Tiru was a little kid and came to Baltimore where both of his parents became school teachers. So I was interested in, in his story, um, not just as a very impressive um, prosecutor running for mayor of a great city, um, but also as a immigrant um, and a South Asian immigrant, you know, and I have some affinity to that part of the world. And so I was intrigued in him from that you know, perspective also. The more I learned about him, the more impressed I became by the depth of his value um, and his just skill and accomplishment. He went, after graduating from public high schools, he went to Yale University, he went to Harvard Law School, he clerked for Supreme Court Justice Stephen Breyer, he worked uh, as a U.S. attorney prosecuting gang crimes, he then worked as the uh, deputy state's attorney prosecuting gang crimes. He has run for the DA 
position in Baltimore and is now running for mayor. Um, and I was just impressed by his, by his steady, just going straight to the heart of the matter, you know, ending crime, ending corruption, um, and restoring his town um, where he grew up, um, this great town of Baltimore, um, you know, with, with, a, with kind of a great feeling for it. And I was just very impressed by his story and his accomplishments as a young person. Now, it, unfortunately here, you know, in America, the way it is, I mean, race and ethnic heritage and all, all that is everything. How do you think his ethnic heritage, his, his background as a Tamil person from Sri Lanka, which uh, the Tamil people were oppressed in a similar way, although not exactly, uh, that African Americans or, or Native Americans or people from Latin America are oppressed here in America. Um, how do you think that impacts his candidacy and should he eventually become mayor? What can we expect from someone with that type of heritage? You know, the the conflict in Sri Lanka, and I don't, I'm not an expert on it, but there, you know, he was part of the minority group. His family would have been part of the minority group in Sri Lanka in a majority Buddhist uh, country politically. And that was really the source of the conflict, the minority group feeling like their rights weren't being respected by the majority. And, you know, some of that group, you know, they, 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 they got more militant about demanding their rights. And this was really at the source of some of the violence um, that I think his family fled from. Both of his parents were educators. And so they brought their, their values uh, of education uh, to Baltimore. And, um, you know, I think that, um, you know, as immigrant uh, Americans, we all know that we're we're new to this country and that um, our success in this country will be measured by the contributions that we make. You know, everybody has had to go through it. The Irish, you know, the Italian American, you know, the European Americans, um, the all immigrant Americans. And now you begin to see many Indian Americans making contributions in many fields like medicine, uh, information technology, uh, the head of Microsoft. Is an Indian American. Um, so Indian Americans have made many contributions. It's very nice to see Indian Americans also making their contributions in the field of politics, uh, in the field of local politics. Does this give him an insight into the experience of African Americans? My answer to that is yes and no. Uh, the immigrant experience, of course, is the experience of being the outsider and trying to make a contribution to the country. But the African-American experience is very unique in America. And um, as an, speaking as the son of immigrants to this country, I know that even though I'm technically a minority on paper, that my experience does not compare uh, to the African-American experience here in America, the historic discrimination, the institutionalized racism, the Jim Crow laws. Um, even though immigrants were caught up in those laws in the 20th century, it was really the African-American experience that was central to it. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. um, uh, so I think it gives him a sensitivity um, to the, the question of, um, of race in America. I, you know, being an immigrant, I think, gives him a sensitivity. Being from a minority community, um, his, the, the, his family was a part of a minority community. Um, gives him a sensitivity to those issues. Um, I think it is very relevant. Um, but I think even more important than his race or ethnicity is the commitment to education you know, that's in the DNA of his family that is the more relevant factor than his race. Um, it, it's through education that people become fully invested citizens. It, it, education is at the root, I think, of, of, of you know, of restoring uh, the fissures in our society along racial lines. And so I would put a premium on 
the role of education in his life over the role of race and ethnicity in his life. But I do think his race and ethnicity as immigrant parents does give him a sensitivity to what it means to be a minority, how that feels, um, how it feels to be almost invisible to the majority society until you assert it and claim it as your own. But I think what is interesting is you have a, an example of someone who, or a culture that has deployed a successful methodology for integration into societies that are completely different from theirs. I mean, we're on the other side of the world from India, and yet Indians have been really successful in integrating themselves in this society, Canada, and other countries. Um, and African-Americans still having a hard time getting there. Not all our fault, obviously, but still we have this model that says, hey, no matter what is standing in our way through this one thing, which is education, we have a passport to break down those walls and get in those doors. And I think that's, uh, that's one of his key values as well. I totally agree with that. And, and you know, education is race, is colorblind. Education is colorblind. And, you know, the fact that both of his parents were teachers there in Baltimore and in Baltimore County, um, and his father, I, I read a, an incredible uh, article about his father, who's now 81 years old and is retired. He was a physics teacher. And, um, you know, he taught at schools. I, I think his last school was an all girls public school public high school where the majority of the students were African-American or, you know, local Baltimore um, young, young women. I, I don't, when I read the article and I heard about his, his approach to teaching and being very clear and to helping people get to college and get to a successful life, there was really no mention of race in his approach uh -huh. to education. His the approach to education is pure. And I think he, that the fact that they extended it to, to people in, in, in the black African-American communities in Baltimore. Well, I mean, you can say that's just the fact of the matter, but it turns out really to be the solution. Um, and, and I think Tiru brings those values to his candidacy. And I think it's very powerful, very powerful. Wow, great, great. Well, we just wanted to take a few moments, uh, Ram and I to, to discuss this candidate because he was so extraordinarily unique. Ram and I were friends and he was struck by the fact that I had thrown my support behind this guy. So we wanted to give you a couple of moments just to get to know him a little bit better from our perspective. Ram obviously has no skin in the game. He can't vote in the election, but he was just struck on the fact that it was a person of his similar ethnicity who was making a contribution, decided to share a little bit about his background and heritage and me so that people understood where I was coming from in terms of my support for Thiru Vignaraja. Ram, any last thoughts? I really appreciate your taking the time to help us out here. Oh, I just think that, you know, just wonderful to me, from my perspective, and I know this is a very, very serious election um, for the city of Baltimore. Um, it, it's, it really inspires me to see a young person um, who, you know, is an immigrant of South Asian um, origin, making such a strong, deep and important race um, in, you know, for mayor, I think it's the American story. You know, this is how America continues to renew itself, how we continue to pursue the promise, you know, of our country, the only country uh, in the world like it, you know, which is a, a nation of immigrants. Um, I think that the African-American story is one that is still unresolved. We, we've, we've seen incidents, uh, a recent, a recent killing in Minneapolis, you know, uh, the, the very distressing, a, a man gunned down by vigilantes uh, while out for a jog in South Carolina, uh, a man who a white woman called the police on because he asked her to put a leash on her dog. And of course, anytime the police get involved, you never know what's going to happen. So we have a long way to go in this country. Um, and I understand that, that, that that's painful 
and very serious. But to me, it's very inspirational to see a person like Diru Vignaraja bring his values, his immigrant experience to try and improve his own community. I was very inspired by that. And I'm always inspired by you too, Peter. Um, <laughs> you really seem to have your finger on the pulse of, uh, you know, of the political and cultural life of, of, of our of, of this area that we live in. And I'm so always impressed by you. Well, it's really interesting. I mean, you know, if you care about the future, you have to get involved and, and do what you can to help people. And so, you know, no matter what the outcome, I, I look forward to, to working with him for a long time because I, as I said, my experience with him is that his heart is in the right place. And, you know, I was in a, 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 a an impossible situation and Theroux joined me in the trenches and stayed there and fought with me until the last bullet was fired. So of all the candidates that I saw running for mayor, if you wanted someone in the trenches with you who was gonna fight for you and advocate for you, to me, it was Theroux Vignalaja just based on my personal experience, all right? Um, so I was really, really impressed with him. And of course, I'm really impressed with you, Rob. Very open-minded and stuff like that. And I'll just uh, say that, uh, you know, some of us take exception to the idea that it's a nation of immigrants because uh, we were here before the immigrants. Oh, well, yeah, that's right. No, that's a whole that's all right. We're getting you there. told me about that before. Yes. We're getting there, dude. We're yeah. getting there. <laughs> all right. Thanks again, bro. Really appreciate it. Thanks again, Daru. We wish you the best of luck. Hope it helped. All right. Thank you, Peter. Thanks. Always okay. a pleasure. Same here. Thanks. Hey.